Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare Mind 101. And yes, I have been on a long overdue break, uh, but I still have to pop in here now and again to take care of some things. So the biggest thing today that I've wanted you to know, if you did not already, uh, hopefully there's still some left for you. I did share it on all my other social media, so you might have heard by now. But the pre-order for the first group of you know it's it's like I want to say a hundred and we're gonna there's gonna be about 200 more coming but like the first hundred be here like pretty pretty soon they're like being shipped to DLT right now but the pre-order for the JX Omega is up on DLT link is gonna be down below so so far you had only seen the original prototypes that I had and this is the nice new clean factory version SK85 steel blades just a little over eight inches about I want to say seven just under seven and a half cutting edge for those who just stumble in off the street that don't know my designs going back several years there's a reason this handle is this big it's not just some random fluke it's a multi-position handle and where you've got it where you get your hand on the handle is going to change how it functions and what you can do with it it is a large multi-purpose woods blade so even though this isn't quite as heavy forward uh, as like the the JX5 and the JXV I mean choking back with all this reach you can still do some pretty good chopping with this batoning if you're going to do the fine task, you're going to choke up. We're going to get out in the woods with this as soon as I get done with break and healing up. And I've been busting my ass lately. But yeah, this thing looks awesome. It's number 001. Pre-order's up there. And it's not like a pre-order like you're used to where it's going to be done like in six months. It's going to be like shipping like in a week. So you're not going to have to wait a long time. It's like you can go grab one while they're available so link to that's going to be in the description box below I want to say they're like 209 off the top of my head I forget yeah I think 209 or 219 I forget I want to say 209 don't quote me you'll see when you get there All right. but wait there's more I also have the the first prototypes for the JXV which is the follow-up redesign of the JX5 that's got almost the exact same handle as the JX Omega but it has been smoothed out the handles more to where I want it so it's a little bit longer than the JX5 handle it doesn't have that Moran handle so I mean that literally gives you like an entire uh, grips worth of extra space for chopping and people are asking me about I like the I like the the, uh, the tapered fuller on that one too so this is more like around summertime people are asking me a little bit about SK 85 and doing some research to kind of give you like an idea because pretty much all the big work tough gear blades are SK 85 so those of you that remember the glory days of the gen 1 Jess X's and all the crazy torture videos that we did with that and how tough that was so SK85 is kinda like that um, which was 1070 but um, I'd say it's more like 1080 something with uh, better edge retention so super strong and there's plenty of plenty of other uh, work tough gear test videos out there you're going to see some from me, I promise. It's actually getting nice out finally. And when when those come out, we're actually, I don't know, I'll have to talk to Jason at DLT about getting some different finishes on maybe the, the rest of the batches that are coming in. But I actually have two of these GXVs, and I'm, this one kind of surprised me how cool it looked. That's a patina finish. It almost looks like a camo finish, but that's that's patina. 
So they've got they've got several really good finish options. So that one just yeah, I mean this is like these two knives, the JX Omega and the JXV, are like what I've been working to all this time from way back in the beginning of the larger multi-position handle knives to do everything that I wanted to do comfortably, carry less tools. I mean, work tough gear just pretty much nailed it. But wait, there's more. This one isn't mine, but I had to show you. I'm do I have to get back a little bit further. This is a Dave Puzon one, and the, the Puzon Bowie is like one of the most popular knives right now from Work Tough Gear. But I got this thing. This is the Predator Hunter. It is freaking ginormous. He, should, he, he had a picture that showed like the different blades that this that inspired it. It's kind of like partially hit the previous knife partially um, some influence of that big knife that they used in the first Predator movie and then he had he had another one I forget which one it was but man oh man is this thing big and what's weird is it doesn't feel like ridiculously like you want to tip over just holding it it's surprisingly freaking agile I wasn't expecting this one when I got the demos I pull this thing out, I'm like, it is, it is a freaking monster. So yeah, work tough. There's a bunch of other really cool big ones. I'm like, they got a ton of, ton of the big stuff, but this is the one we have been waiting years for. I've been talking about this one for years. and just had so much trouble trying to get it made, but it's a good thing that it was delayed because the, it came out exactly the way I designed it to be. So now that is my most favorite knife ever. The JX Omega. And Omega was meant to be the last of the JX series. JXV, that's kind of like the the JX5 reborn. So that doesn't really count. Alright, so get on over to DLT. Snatch up one of those early bird ones if there's any left. All right, guys, I'll be back soon. It's been nice. Try taking uh, seven years without a break. You want to take a break, too. <laughs> All right, so Christian, prepare my 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Back with another video here soon, so see you then.